Hey guys, what's up? Scooter here with Macintosh Tips. It feels good to be back. Uh, so today I want to go ahead and give you guys a quick tutorial on how to do something really cool that I discovered uh, while browsing the internet. Basically what we're going to do, we're going to change the login background. So basically when you boot up your Mac and you log in, there's a default gray background. Well, we're going to customize that and personalize that to however you want. And it's basically done in a quick, easy steps and it'll be done within a matter of like three minutes. So uh, let's just go ahead and figure out how it's done. So first thing you want to do is uh, figure out your screen resolution size. So easily what you can do is just type in what is my screen resolution. And then if you go here to this first link, it will actually tell you. Um, so 15 inch MacBook Pro is a 1440 by 900. So then from there you have to find an image that is close to that size. Um, basically you want something that's 1440 by 900 or bigger. Um, you don't want to go too big because then it won't look right but somewhere around that range, but definitely not less. Um, so basically for the video purposes, what I did was I went to Google, I typed in wallpapers, and then I just typed in my screen resolution size after it. And I just scrolled down until I found something that I liked. And basically I'm gonna use this Buzz Lightyear uh, wallpaper here as the new background. So let's go ahead and check out what you do now. So once you finish that, click your Macintosh HD, once you click your Macintosh HD, you're going to click on System, and then once you go to System, you're going to go to Library, and I will open it up this way so we can see it better. So System, Library, then we're going to go down to Framework, or Frameworks, click that. Once you go to Frameworks, you're going to try to find um, AppKit.Framework, this one right here. So click that. Once you click that, you're going to go into Resources. And don't, don't, don't worry about trying to remember all this now. I will have it all in the description box below. Um, so once you get into there, you're going to come all the way down until you see something that says NS Texture Full Screen Background Color dot um, JPEG or dot PNG or whatever he's going to say. Now, uh, the one here is going to say NS Textured Full Screen Background Color dot PNG. That's probably what yours says and it is the gray background. Uh, I've already been playing around with this for a little bit so I've changed it around a little bit. This is what I have right now. I'm going to show you how to change it but this should be gray for you and it should say NS textured full screen background color dot PNG. So what you want to do now, you want to take your picture that you want to change it to and you want to use the exact same name. So capitalization and everything. So NS textured full screen background color dot JPEG uh, for mine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in here and type in capital N, capital S, capital T, textured full screen, capital S, full screen, background color dot JPEG. Uh, now yours might be a PNG. If it's a PNG, no worry. Just go in here, go to get info, or sorry. Uh, well, if it's a PNG, you're going to open up the file and preview. You're going to go to File, and then you're going to go to Export. And once you go to Export, you will just export it as a PNG. No big deal. All right, so once you have that done, um, one thing you might want to also do is make a copy of your gray screen background, just in case you want to go back to it, uh, like if you sell your Mac or something like that. So you would just go here, you go to Copy, and you would go... Um, and paste it there just like that so now I have a copy so basically what I did I found the image right I just copied it or I converted it to a PNG now I'm gonna take my new file that I just renamed so it's the same same uh, same name what I'm gonna do I'm gonna drag it into this over the top here it's gonna ask me to authenticate once I authenticate I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, replace that's fine and I'm going to put in my password and it's just like that. Just like that, your background has now changed. So now you can just restart your Mac, and you will see the uh, pictures um, that I have here off to the side of what it's going to look like. And it looks flawless if you get the right screen size. So this has been Scooter at Macintosh Tips. Quick tip to help you guys personalize your Mac. If you want more videos about personalizing your Mac and things like that, comment below. Tell us if you liked it or not. Um, and be sure to hit us up on Twitter, at Macintosh Tips. Uh, I even have a personal Twitter, at Scooter Taylor, uh, that I've been using a little bit more regularly, but I'll get back on Macintosh tips for sure. Um, but this is just, you know, in the meantime, a little uh, 
little video for you guys. Also, March 7th, obviously, the next app, iPad is coming out, um, and I will be live streaming uh, via Ustream uh, because I'm on spring break. So catch me in my dorm room uh, streaming the live event. Uh, more details to come via Twitter for that as well. Uh, but again, this has been Scooter with Macintosh Tips, and I hope you enjoyed, guys. Peace.